Yeah, absolutely. I, in thinking back in some situations, I worked with a team of people who were amazing. They Once you got to talk with them and looked at their resumes, they had accomplished amazing things. They had multifaceted skills and talents, experience in different fields, a lot of expertise. But because of the framework of the organization that was there, a lot of the leadership there didn't really fully take advantage of all that was there within that team. The leadership didn't necessarily show respect to these people that they had hired. They had they had taken them on and had hired them because they had extensive skills and credentials and they didn't take the opportunity to really create an environment where those people were able to take that expertise to work together and to thrive it and there was kind of a lack of respect maybe a little bit of a power struggle maybe because there were so many you know impressive people at the same place but instead of it becoming you were talking about on a prior show that there's no i in team and there was kind of a lack of respect or an insecurity there about allowing these people to work together and thrive, then it led to a lot of animosity, frustration, impediment, and then conflict in the workplace. It led to poorer services being rendered out outside of the organization, and it led to a dissatisfying work level. They were, they were dissatisfied because there was a lot of that contention. And so all these talented people who had been brought in then were not able to use the things that and their skills to really give that to each other and then go external to the organization to serve the, the clients there. So it was very different to get in a different environment where you know leadership is welcoming when they don't just look at the resume before hire, but they recognize all the skills and talents that come and do strategic opportunity building for people on the team to who has insight into how to do this, who who has experience in this, and then really lining them up with opportunities that help them thrive within the organization, which then helps the people external to the organization, the clients who benefit from these highly engaged uh, professionals who are, are not impeded, are not surrounded by a contentious work environment, but much more in a proactive, solution-driven, uh, welcoming environment that respects the people that they've brought into their organization it just breeds so much more productivity. It breeds a positive work environment. It suppresses conflict. It helps manage conflict that will inevitably pop up. It made it so those times where we are we were faced with challenges, it made it into more of a streamlined, uh, united front that said, we're gonna get through this together and lean on all, everybody's skills and talents to get us through this. And it's just much different outcome, much different work experience when the leadership had that deep-seated respect for the people that they brought in. And then that just re is returned right up the chain because the people who are in authority or in the, in the leadership positions, they're giving that gift to the people within their organization to be their very best. And certainly for people who, <laughs> who may have had negative experiences with leadership in the past, they begin to really recognize and value those leaders who take that into account and who open them up to have a, a system of working where they can do the things they are engaged by, they can help the team. It, it's an all around a circular kind of respect that like you said, is like the oil, that the gears merge together, they achieve the work and there's much less grinding and, <laughs> and grading inside of that engine. So really that respect is that oil that, that makes the machine work.